Hey guys, I'm back, J5, here's Julie here. This is my overall review and thoughts of Neo Genesis Evangelion. Neo Genesis Evangelion came out in 1995 about angels and evas, which are Evangelion's robots fighting each other. What Shinji, Hikari, and the rest of the group taking down these angels, which angels are not really the ones you think of fairies and little, like, pit, you know, guardians. They're pretty much like intellectual aliens that can mind-break human beings. And I know what you're all thinking. There's a movie that's similar to that. Yes, Pacific Rim. There's no other anime I think of when I see Pacific Rim than this one. Because really, if you think about it, they're identical. But we're not here to compare those two films, are we? I'm talking about my review and my thoughts and what I liked of this anime. It can be random. The characters are likable sometimes. The plots can get a little crazy and risque with the ideas of risking humanity over the loss of human morality and the ideas of death and what it means to be human and what it means to live on a fragile planet. All these things are kind of discussed, but they're thrown on the side sometimes. I like the animation. There's a little bit of the religious thing of, you know, men in the spiritual world and the science and technology infused together with the power of the, the EVA pilots. And the thing with the EVA pilots is that they have to be, like, physically and mentally prepared. Again, just a like Pacific Rim. Again, I'm not comparing it. I'm just taking a side note where a pilot has to be physically fit to that mech. If they're not, they're not in sync with each other. That's why Shinji's a coward when it comes to real people, and that's why we hate him, and he's such a big wuss. As we all know, his mantra that he will not run from anything. Asuka is, uh, you know, is a bunch of whiny bitch, but we know she tries to be friends with Shinji, even though she's just a bitch. Rei Ayanami, which is one of my favorite characters actually in the series, She's likable because she's interesting. She's basically another Eva pilot, but she shares a lot of con relation to Shinji. Her role in the show really helps define the battle between humans and Evas, I mean angels. There is one about Adam, who is the original Eva that, you know, d destroyed. And he's brought back somewhere into the plot, but that extends to, like, a little bit of the other extensions. So you have to really, like, dig deep into what the show is. It is not an anime for kids. There is blood. There's sexual things in it. There's violence. There's religious intolerance. I mean, there's a lot of these immoral themes in it that make it not a kid's anime. Face it, if you want to see a kid's anime, go watch Pokemon. I mean, there's nothing harmful in Pokemon. It's just people catch Pokemon. It's a great series. I'm glad I read the first volume of the manga only. I might not get to the other volumes because that's as far as I got to. I didn't want to spoil myself the entire anime. And I heard the manga's better. Obviously, that's how some points are. The mangas are usually better than the anime because they do better just in the source material. It's one of those anime in the 90s that was like Cowboy Bebop. It was, it was starting when anime was just getting popular. Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, a lot of those kind of action-esque anime. And it's a mecha like others like Kogias and Robotech and Momosu Gundam. You know, this is kind of a well, it's kind of a whole new breed of mecha. Oh, let's use the psyche. And then the ideas of it are good. You know, using the whole human mind as a weapon. If you're hurt with the mind, you're hurt with the mech. It's that kind of symbiotic relationship, and that works. Even though sometimes they do it for stupid effect, it does help progress the ideas of the characters, what they're thinking. Emotionally and sometimes spiritually. Sometimes the morale is taken away. I know I'm digging deep into this as much as I can. But if, if you see this anime, it'll make you think a lot. It is thought-provoking. It's bloody. It's action-esque. It's a mecha. It's Neo Genesis Evangelion. Yes, even though it's violent, I don't care. I just have fun watching it. I give Neo Genesis Evangelion a 5 out of 5. It's a great anime. I highly recommend if you're a fan of mechas. Check this one out, and you won't be disappointed. This is Dave. I'm signing off. Have a great day. Bye-bye.